Hi, uh, this video is about how to calculate surface area of different shapes. So shapes cover are here the cube, rectangle prism, sphere, cylinder, uh, prism and pyramid. Okay. So let's start with the cube one first. So here um, it's very simple. Um, what you have to do is the calculate the area of uh, one side and then you multiply by six side because um, all the six side will be same. Okay, so 4 on this side, uh, fifth, and on the back, that's the uh, sixth one. So, uh, area of surface area of Q is equal to 6 times A times A. So, if for example, let's say A is equal to 3 centimeter, in that case, 6 times 3 times 3, so it will be 54 centimeter square. Okay, so that's the surface area of Q. Now, let's look at the rectangle prism. So, here uh, you can see uh, the rectangle uh, surface area of rectangular prism is uh, here we have like yellow part so that will be two times on the top and on the bottom uh, this green that area will be two times uh, front and on the back side and this blue area will be on the right hand side and left hand side so you have to multiply so first time we calculate the area of this yellow part that is A times B and we have to multiply by 2 because there is one in the bottom as well same thing um, A times C ok so we are calculating this green one now so A times C that will give us the area of green and we have two green area front and on the back side ok and then we have to calculate the area of uh, this blue part that is B times C ok so this one is B that height is C so that gives us the area of blue and then we multiply by 2 ok so if you look at the example let's say A is equal to 5 uh, B is equal to 3 and C is equal to 4 so we just plug the value here and the area come out to be 94 centimeter square ok so that's how you calculate the surface area of rectangular prism now if we look at the sphere the surface area of sphere is given by equation 4 pi r square so that is simple formula to remember and um, if we give the example r is equal to 4 centimeter then uh, let me just put here so surface area of uh, sphere will be 4 times pi is equal to 3.14 times 4 times 4 so that come out to be 296 centimeter square ok now let's look at the cylinder so the area of uh, cylinder uh, is given by 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r h now if you can remember this formula uh, if you think logically if if I open this cylinder then I have two circle here pi r square then second pi r square and uh, this uh, this length here it will be 2 pi r that's the perimeter of the circle and then the height ok so now if you uh, use uh, this figure here then pi r square plus pi r square that why I use 2 pi r square and then uh, length time height of this rectangle so 2 pi r time h ok and um, if I look at the example let's say r is equal to 3 centimeter height is equal to 5 centimeter in that case I just use the plug this uh, value r is equal to 3 and height is equal to 5 in this equation and that give me the surface area of 150 to 150.72 centimeter square ok so that's the surface area of cylinder now let's look at the prism here so surface a uh, now uh, surface area of uh, prism is given by 2 times uh, area of this triangle the one this blue and there will be another blue on the back side ok so that's why it is 2 here and the area of uh, this triangle is equal to one half time b time h so that is b is equal to four i mean uh, b time h so that's the equation of i mean e area of one triangle and then we have two so i am multiplying by two plus uh, now we have to calculate uh, these three side so if if you look at if you open this prism you will see something like this so we already covered this two area the blue part now if you think that uh, this rectangle is length is equal to 5 centimeter uh, so this one and width is 4 ok so 
we have three area like this one two and three that's why i'm using this three times l times b okay and then when you simplify this is what your equation come out to be so surface area is equal to two uh, so now i'm using uh, this uh, this values here so now surface area first it is the area of triangle and this is the three rectangles one two and three okay now if i just put the values here uh, b is equal to four uh, height is equal to three centimeter so that give me the area here of the two triangles and then three times uh, this rectangle okay so five times four there is 20 and then 20 20 20 so that's give me 60 okay and uh, total is 72 centimeters square now sometime what happened that um, let's say if height is missing here in that case you can use the Pythagorean equation to find out uh, that remaining or missing height okay now let's look at the pyramid here so surface area of pyramid is um, here before I go I have assumed that the this base is same of the B length now so if I open this pyramid here uh, this area will be B square so B times B and the area of triangle will be one half time base time uh, this S slant height okay so and I have four of them so this is the area that is B times B and four times area of triangle one two three and four now if I put the value B is equal to four for example and S is equal to six centimeter in that case my area will be four times four plus four in bracket half times four times six so area come out to be 64 centimeter square now sometime remember that um, if this base is not um, same length in that case uh, this equation you have to uh, do different way right because uh, your two triangle area will be different if your length is bigger than if your length and width is different okay so that's pretty much uh, that's how you calculate the surface area of different shapes uh, subscribe to my channel if you like this video and thanks for watching okay bye